Good evening, it's Friday the 19th of June. I'm Dale Dami. This is Yarrow News on Yarrow TV. Firstly, our coronavirus update, because the daily government one is an absolute complete load of bollocks. Now, we are on course to lose another 1,000 lives this week to coronavirus by Sunday, with 173 lives lost today. So the UK's official coronavirus death toll stands at just under 44,000. But figures show 53,000 deaths. Now here's why. Deaths in UK hospitals so far is registered at 32,653. Deaths across all settings, which is UK official toll, which counts people in care homes that were tested, people privately that were tested, stands at 43,421. Now, deaths registered so far, this is the number of deaths registered where COVID-19 was mentioned on the death certificate, including suspected cases. It stands at 48,123. So nearly 50,000 deaths in the UK in little over three months. Now, since March the 21st, the number of deaths in the UK above the average for this time span, so from March the 21st up until now, is 64,401 higher than what the average normally is, 64,401. And now a third UK meat factory has announced a COVID-19 outbreak, and this one supplies as the supermarkets, the other two, one supplied M&S and one supplied KFC. So they had a massive COVID-19 outbreak and they've closed the factories down. So don't stop eating chickens, hurry up. Now, various schools as well have had to close and go back into lockdown in different areas, specifically in Leicester as well. Something happened up there where they had to close a few schools because someone tested positive. You know what I mean? But the government has reduced our cr coronavirus alert level to three. So happy days. Right now we go to our weekly Friday for do of the week. So we have three contenders as normal. Our first contender is Donald Trump, the President of the United States. Our second contender is Matt Hancock, which is the Health Secretary for here. And the third is Dominic Rabb, which is some twat also in the government. Now Donald Trump has organised a rally this weekend for 19,000 people in Tulsa, I think it is, with no social distancing, no one's wearing masks, everyone's going to be packed in and they've got to sign a disclaimer before they go in. Uh, that if they get ill, they can't do anything about it. So all he, all he cares about is him getting re-elected and not about the people's health over there. What a photo. Matt Hancock, where do I start? Social distancing not being done. Check this one out. That's in Parliament. Uh, testing tack, uh, track and trace app. Spent millions on this at the beginning of... So said it's going to be ready in mid-May. Then it's going to be ready at the end of May. Then it's going to be ready here. Tests it in all the way. Yeah, it's killing it. Hide loads of people to sit next to phones waiting for the calls. No fucker phoned. App didn't work. Fuddle, now they've gone back to Apple and uh, Google to say to them, can you help us like that? You know what I mean? So, and then you've got Dominic Rabb, who said knee, put, uh, getting on the knee or taking the knee is something from Game of Thrones and I only kneel for the Queen and I only kneel for my wife. What a fuddle. So let's see the winner. The winner of our fuddle of the week is it's Matt Hancock, because he's a wanker. He stitched us right from the start with his bollocks and his bullshit, right? He tested this track and trace that was massive. If you go back to the news year, beginning of May, what they were saying, this track and trace was what it's all about. It was what it was all about. Can't come out of lockdown without track and trace. Well, now they've sacked it because he fucked it. Fuddle of the week, Matt Hancock. Now, in other news, after receiving criticism for comments about Game of Thrones, Dominic Rabb insists he meant no offence to the great people of Westeros and he remains hopeful of a trade deal. Black Lives Matter protesters make for the hills as they mess with the wrong fucking statue. And the Premier League's return is hailed a success after Arsenal's defenders managed to stay two metres away from Man City for the whole fucking match. Commuters ask for more clarity on what type of face masks to wear on public transport. And Lady Bird released a new book to help the public avoid all members of the Conservative government. And finally, the age-old argument over what came first, the chicken or the egg, is finally settled. Anyway, check this one out. 
I was walking past the church the other day and there's four men carrying a coffin around the graveyard, you know what I mean? So I left them to it, did shit, shit I needed to do, come back, walking past the graveyard and they're still carrying the coffin. I thought, fuck me, man, these geezers have lost the plot. You know what I mean? Now, a suspected earthquake at Boots Chemist in Peterborough has been solved and it wasn't an earthquake. Check this one out. Not on me. So the weather. This weekend's got a bit of rain here and there, a bit cloudy, but otherwise it's looking pretty fat. Now that's in the UK. I only give weather for the UK because I know we have thousands and thousands and millions of viewers all around the world. You know what I mean? But this is just for the UK because I've got all fucking day. You know what I mean? Check out your own local news, sorry. All. Anyway, rain, bit of sun, quality. But next week we've got a heat wave coming. A heat wave, you hear that? We got a heat wave. We've got barbecues, you gotta get your pools out. It's gonna be hot, 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 27, 28 degrees. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, killed it! Now, sport, yeah, man, finally the Premier League is back. We I watched a couple of games, it weren't all that without the fans. But Sheffield United got robbed, got robbed, mate. Goal line technology made each other. Know what I mean? But let's see what happens tonight. Should be a top game, and this weekend's heavy football virtually every night over the next four weeks. it. Right then, thought for the thought for the weekend. What's the difference between erotic and kinky? Well, erotic is using a feather. Kinky is when you use the whole fucking chicken. You know what I mean? I'm Dowd Army. Have a great weekend. This is Yeah Right TV on Yeah Right News. I got it the wrong way round, as I always do. What a fuddle, Yeah Right.